Hello folks, welcome to our channel. In today's demonstration, we are going to see how to configure Lambda notifications for your AWS code commit repositories. Think of a scenario where your team is quite big and you want to get all your team members notified of the latest changes that are happening in the repository. The changes might be because of new branches being created or new features being committed or there are comments made it in the existing commits. Then you would want the team to be notified so they can take the remedial action or corrective action depending upon the scenario. Let us go ahead and see how we can do this in our repository. I am in the Virginia repository and I'm going to use the same repo that I've been using for all these uh, demos that so far. And the settings section, you will have a trigger option, but instead of doing it here, you can see here there's already one. I'm just going to go ahead and delete it. I find that it is easier to create and trigger from the Lambda console itself because you need the Lambda information, you need the IAM information, all that information when you're doing it here. In, if you're going to do it from the Lambda console, it's all in one place. So it's easy for us to put in the information in one place. So let us go ahead and create our new function. This function is written for 3.7, so choose that. And I have already created a role. And remember, each Lambda function needs some role to perform some actions. And in this case, it needs permissions for uh, reading uh, the code commit. And it also needs permissions for uh, CloudWatch logs so that all the information that has happened in the Lambda execution environment is put in the logs. So I have named it Lambda execution role. It is a service role. I have added these permissions. You can have more restrictive permissions if you want. Let us attach this role to this function. Let's go ahead and create the function. Now we have our function created and we are also given our role. We, next is updating the code in the function and the code is in the GitHub repository. I'll put this in the, put this URL in the description of this function so you can go ahead and pick it up. There will be one small change that you will have to make it in the code. That is the Slack webhook URL. If you are in Slack administrator, you will be knowing how to create the webhook URL. If you're not, you can get it from your Slack administrator. Let us go ahead and add that in our environment variable now and let us save this function and now we have done most of the requirements that is we created the function updated the code set up the rules and only thing is that is pending is setting up the event triggers so let us go ahead and choose code commit and configure it so it has already selected my repository i'll leave it as it is if not you go ahead and choose your repository and i'm going to say you can give any name that you want and I want it to be notified uh, all the events that are happening. It might be for push or a pull or creating a new branch or deleting or a tag. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And if you have multiple branches, go ahead and choose whichever branches you want. I'm going to leave them as defaults and click on save. So now it is done here. If you want, if you go ahead and uh, refresh the screen here, I'm just going to say settings and go to triggers and we'll see the new trigger that we just now created so if we want to be sure that everything is fine go ahead and click on test trigger and if everything is fine all the configurations are done then we will get a message like this and in the slack channel also we'll get a notifier saying a trigger test event so let us go ahead and see whether really uh, we get a notification when an actual event like commit or and branching is happening. I'm just going to make a simple edit into one of the files here and I just find that there is a typo here. Just commit the changes and once the commit has been successful, we should be getting a notification in Slack. You can see here it is already triggered and I can see here there is a reference changes commits are happening in my account. So that is how you set up notifications for your repository and get them into a slack channel or sns notifications go ahead and try them if you have problems put them in the comment section our community will be able to help you with them thanks for watching happy learning